Hello, fellow egoist! Today we'll be doing a short but straight to the point analysis of the Kaiser Impact Speed. Thanks to Metezori for editing the thumbnail of this video and also helping me in the process of making it. With all that said, let's head straight into it. First off, we need to know what exactly is the Kaiser Impact? The Kaiser Impact is a signature move of Kaiser, a right leg shock created from the fastest leg swing in the world, one faster than even Noel Noah's. So the Kaiser Impact isn't only the fastest leg swing, but rather the shot created from the said leg swing, which is a really important distinction to make, as after all you do need to hit something to get an impact. What makes the Kaiser Impact such a great weapon isn't only the speed of the leg swing, which makes the timing of the shot close to impossible to predict, but also the deadly accuracy of it, which helps Kaiser thread the ball like a needle through the enemy's defense. Now combine this with the insane special awareness and football IQ that Kaiser has to create short courses using the Predator Eye, and we have one of the best goal hunting weapons in the entire world. Though we can ask ourselves, how fast is the Kaiser Impact? We first need to put the basis of our analysis into play. We'll be only working with the average speed instead of trying to calculate the speed in a continuous way. The general idea is that if you have an object going at a constant speed, all you need to do to find its speed is divide the distance it traveled by the time it took to travel said distance. The example shown on screen is a great one and really easy to understand, I recommend pausing the video to read it. So with this in mind, we need a sequence in which we can find both the distance and the time it took for the ball to travel said distance. For that we can look at the three goals of Kaiser in the nail so far. We have first his goal in the Borussia match. While the distance is clear, as Kaiser is clearly on the goal box line, we do have a problem in terms of time. We have no reference point for it in the sequence. Which is also a problem in his goal against Ubers, on top of the shot generally being pretty hard to analyze as the ball also hits the ground with a certain angle which would be tedious to calculate to say the least. So this leaves us with only one sequence, his goal through four defenders in the Manshine game. Now this goal is one of the best to find our value, because in the multiple spread of Kaiser's shots, we can see that the white part of the pages is where the ball currently is. As we see, the halos to show the speed of the shot are created near that white part. So in this page, the ball is actually close to the goalkeeper's hand and what we're seeing is a delayed puff from the trajectory of the shot. So with this information, what we can do is try to calculate the time it took for the goalkeeper to reach this place from the moment Kaiser shot as to get our time reference. Though before that, we can now work on a harder thing to calculate, the distance. Where did Kaiser shoot from? Well, for that, we can draw a line from the middle of the goal box to the highest part of the penalty arc, and we know, thanks to standardized measurements for football fields, that this distance is of 19.15 meters, but thanks to GIMP, we can also find how many pixels are needed to draw this length. We can then draw a parallel line from where Kaiser trapped the ball to the goal box line, and similarly find the number of pixels from one point to the other of that line. So because the lines are parallel, we can just use a cross product to try to find the distance in real meters of the second length that we just drew. And with this, we find that the distance from which Kaiser trapped the ball is around 25 meters. Now that we've gotten the distance, we need to know how much time it take for the ball to get past the line. For that, we can use our goalkeeper. As said earlier, we need to calculate the time it took for the goalkeeper to get to the place he currently is in this paddle, from the moment Kaiser shot the ball. For this, we first have to take into account how much time does it take for a goalkeeper to dive. For this, we can use the average time for a goalkeeper to dive in a penalty which is around 600 milliseconds. Though if you've ever played football, you know that this number doesn't take into account that the fact that the goalkeeper is already prepared. In a penalty, you can't react the moment the ball is shot and so you need to already have a rough idea of where the ball will go to be able to defend against it. In that sense, we can say that the 600 milliseconds is the time for a goalkeeper when fully ready to get to the post. Now a thing to see is that when the goalkeeper was near the ball, he wasn't at the post but more so around 3 fourths of the distance from the middle to the post. So the time for the goalkeeper to reach the ball after he started jumping is at a rough value of 600 milliseconds times 3 fourths so 450 milliseconds. Though as we know, Kaiser used the Praetor Eye and aimed for an impossible to predict shooting course which made the goalkeeper stagger in his reaction. So the 450 milliseconds value we found doesn't take into account the time for the goalkeeper to react to Kaiser's shot. The average time for a goalkeeper's directional reaction time was found to be around 300 milliseconds in this study made on the regional players of Turkey. While the study sample of goalkeepers was pretty low at only 10 of them, 
they were still pro players and the number does fit with normal human reaction time on top of their ages being pretty close to 20 years old, so we can use it as a basis. Though the goalkeeper in Kaiser shot did get caught off guard as Kaiser aimed for a course outside of the goalkeeper's predictions through the Praetor eye, so we can add a good 100 to 150 milliseconds to the reaction time of the goalie. So with this, the time for the goalie to react should be around 400 milliseconds. After that, we had the time for him to reach three fourths of the goalpost, which is which should be around 450 milliseconds, as we said earlier, and we get to a total of 850 milliseconds for the time the goalkeeper needed to first react to the shot, then jump near the ball. So with this, the ball had to travel a distance of 25 meters in only 850 milliseconds, which gives us a speed of around 29 meters per second. And so if we convert this, we finally get the speed of the Kaiser Impact, a whopping 104 km per hour. Now we can discuss one thing. Does this final number make sense? The average speed of a pro player's shot is at around 112 km per hour. So for Kaiser, the current best youth player in the world to have that type of speed, totally makes sense on top of Kaiser being the best youth striker in the world. So even if he came to the pro world, he would still be more than enough as a decent striker. So him having a value of near 112 km per hour totally makes sense. Though for the absorptions we made, such as the distance, reaction time of the goalkeeper and other variables, we can totally question if those choices made were good or not. In general, in my research, I have found that the Kaiser impact should be in between 90 to 112 km per hour while tweaking the values a bit. And so, with this, the Kaiser impact speed is finally found. Now if you have a problem in the video for the thought process to reach this conclusion, tell me so in the comments. As you see the title in this video is before everything a theory craft video, and so it's meant to be a place of debate. If you want to talk about it in more details, you can also join me on the discord server of the channel where the entire thought process for this video was made along with a huge contribution from Metezori in said discord. So thanks for him for that help. You can also help just like him in the next upcoming videos in the video suggestion or theory sections of the Discord. All the sources used for the numbers in this video can be found in the description. And with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great one. Fellow Egoist.